This is the peak oil sheepskin vest. There are two types of vest. We're looking at the Harvest, developed with Rowan Anderson from Whole Lot of Love. It's designed for use in hunting. These big pockets here, they take your shells and they're elasticized round holders designed to hold 308 rounds sitting in there. The original sheepskin vest simply doesn't have that gun pocket and has less wax cotton or wax canvas covering. It only has one chest pocket, depending which hand you're, you're using, and the other is exposed black leather, black painted leather. The black painted leather, if you look down the bottom of the vest, there it is there. And over time, that shines up real nice and shows all the grain of the sheepskin. And in the original uh, um, sheepskin vest, the entire back is exposed leather. This, the hunting vest, has a full cover of wax canvas, giving it obvious strength when you throw it down in the gravel or climbing under barbed wire fences and things like that. The leather won't tear, the canvas may tear, uh, and you'll certainly know about it, and it'll get a few inches, but it's repairable. You just can stitch it all up uh, and then hit it with some beeswax to seal it up and put a patch on it if you need to. Uh, in the back here, while we're looking at it, is a really large game pocket. So for hunters, they put their rabbits or their quail in there. Uh, for me, I put my sandals, my skins for skiing, or maybe a water bottle. Speaking of water bottle, I got a Mimo bottle, Melbourne designer, for my birthday, and it just happens to fit beautifully. The A5, straight into the pocket there like that. I'd like to get myself a stainless steel hip flask and keep everyone guessing though. So, same with all uh, peak oil products, is durability is first and foremost in mind. Leather piping on all the wear points. This metal zipper, up and down, up and down. If it was just canvas, that's gonna fray. The leather keeps it there for multiple generations. Big tassels there for if you're wearing gloves, you can grab it and open it real quick and open up in there. Designed to hold a phone, a uh, hunting permit, wallet, whatever. Just all sits in there. Some people balk at the idea of it. I've never found it a problem. If anything falls back in there, it's just more secure. Okay, opening it up. It's all sheepskin. It's very, very warm. In fact, I've never, until started making these, had the luxury of wearing sheepskin backcountry skiing. And now I can see that it is a far superior product to the poly or the plastic based materials that we've been wearing. For one, it doesn't stink up as easily. No, we're near as easily. Two, when it's fully soaked, wet through, which takes a long time, mind you, it's, it's working really well still. But most importantly, it's the temperature range that it can be worn in. So I've worn this in a minus 15 chilly blizzard with sleet and snow and all sorts of stuff coming down. I just wear this with a wool jumper and some mittens, the peak oil mittens, and I'm back, out back country for days on end. And I very rarely feel the need to put a raincoat on, such as the peak oil uh, wax cotton jacket. This is just worn all the time. And then when it warms up the next day, the sun comes out and it's going up to plus 10, it's still on me. So the temperature range in the comfort factor of wearing the natural materials, such as the sheepskin and the, and the cotton canvas, is a, a standout feature. Then obviously when you're out picnicking and things like that, that throws down in the ground and you've got a lovely sheepskin feel. Optional is to have this, the opening here. If you have an opening here, that can lay down as a three-quarter bed, and that justifies carrying it back country in some instances. Uh, I think there's not a big collar to cover up around your ears. It's a big collar. Um, and these flaps, if you need to stitch high-vis on there, but primarily it's to keep the water away from the zipper opening. Metal zipper up the front, everything double and triple stitched, uh, and binding placed on all the seams of the sheepskin. All the material comes from southeast, southeast Australia. The sheepskins come from the last tannery in Melbourne and they come from sheep grazing out in Western Victoria. In the hunting vest, there are the gun pockets or where you keep your shells and your 308 rounds. Uh, and then, but common to both vests, the uh, original sheepskin vest and the harvest or the hunting vest uh, is the big hand pocket. The big hand pocket has two pockets on each side. Uh, one is your hand just dives in to be separate from the sheepskin uh, hand warmer 
both have very, very large pockets. Uh, you're big enough to, I don't know, probably about an A4 sheet of paper would be um, fitting in there, so you can put, put some big items in there. I generally put my wet mittens, I chuck them in there separate to the wool hand pocket, and then put my hands inside the wool hand pocket uh, for warming up, but also the mittens tend to dry off a little nicer and warm up a bit while inside that outer pocket. Uh, typical to all PK oil uh, pockets, hand pockets, it's got that double gusset design. So one is the gutter that stops the wood chips from the chainsaw or the wind-driven snow and rain getting into the hand pocket. And then the other uh, gutter is tucked back inside there so that if you're jumping around doing handstands or whatever, your keys are not likely to fall out. They'll just get caught by that, that gutter and fall back into the pocket. And that works really well, we found. Yeah, so the sheepskin pocket also, it's uh, very, very large, so that if you're wearing a pack with a uh, waist strap, uh, you can move your hands up high into the sheepskin uh, and still be keeping your hands warm. When you undo your pack strap, your hands can fall and you get more of your hand in there and it's just a big luxury item, that sheepskin warmer. <laughs>